Tanisht, last week, RTE's primetime programme examined and exposed how the charity console spends its money. The HSE did an audit last April and it's with senior management in the HSE. Console is a well-known, well-respected and highly regarded national charity and it helps families who have lost family members through suicide. It provides 24-hour phone helpline to anybody who rings if they're distressed about themselves or a family member. It receives a staggering 3,400 phone calls per day, per month, over 100 per day. It has offices all over the country and our president is the national patron of the organisation. However, people who watched the programme were shocked, stunned and appalled at the allegations about misappropriation of funds. Consoled re received 2.5 million from the HSE in recent years to help them provide their counselling services. Almost half of their money comes directly from state organisations through taxpayers' money and the balance is raised through fundraising and donations from members of the general public. In addition, the Department of Foreign Affairs allocated 130,000 to Console so that she could support Irish emigrants in the UK. Console, like all charities, depends on people's goodwill. Thousands of people do charity walks, cycles and other fundraising activities each year to raise funds for Console. I listened to restaurant owner Darren Clark yesterday on the radio, who lost his son and afterwards arranged a charity cycle and that event arranged, raised over 250,000 for Consoles Good Work. And he expressed the genuine hurt that he felt about the allegations that were made and how he was, felt abused by the use of the funds that he had raised and he had donated to Console. The CEO of Console, Paul Kelly, has since resigned. He has said, he didn't do any intentional wrongdoing. Gardaí are examining the use of these funds, some of which was allegedly spent on trips to New Zealand for conferences for family members. Primetime alleged that the CEO console director received payments of over 215,000, which allegedly is in breach of company law and revenue regulations. The charities regulator is there to increase public trust and confidence in the management of charities. I'm asking you, Tanishta, was the regulator aware of these allegations in Console? Because seemingly they've been well known to some people for many years now. Did you, Tanishta, speak to the charities regulator to discuss these revelations? And will the charities regulator now investigate the matter? And what actions, Tanishta, are you taking to ensure that other charities are being monitored and audited to ensure that no such abuse of state funding or people's donations occurs in those areas? Thank you very much, Deputy And Fleming. finally, Tanishta, how does the state ensure that the abuse of either state funding or people's donations to charities is prevented in the future? Thank you very much. Tanishta. Uh, thank you, Deputy. Well, it is, of course, critical uh, that confidence is maintained in the charity sector and that the public have confidence when they make a donation or when there is public fundraising that it will be uh, used properly and appropriately. Obviously concerns arose about uh, another charity uh, in the recent past and the last government ensured that we have now a charities regulator in place. It is very distressing for people who supported an organisation uh, like Console, dealing with very sensitive issue uh, in relation to suicide, supporting families, that that trust uh, has been broken in the way uh, that it has. And I, as I said, I am very concerned about the ongoing reports following last week's primetime report. Uh, let me say to you uh, that the HSE have had an audit uh, uh, in, to console in the recent past. The absolute, uh, that in fact brought some of these concerns to light, so it does show the robustness, uh, robustness of the HSE uh, structure in relation to charities. The absolute priority for the HSE now is to ensure the ongoing provision of services, uh, and that is the situation, that there is ongoing provision of services and if anything further uh, arises in relation to any disruption of those services the HSE will uh, step in. As far as the charities regulatory authority is concerned 
Um, they are in the business of regulating uh, charities and registering charities, and we now have over 4,500 charities who have registered with them. The Charities Regulatory Authority and the UK Charities Regulatory Authority are both engaging with Console. I can confirm that to you. I can also confirm that the uh, authority is an ongoing contact, and indeed their CEO, John Farley, has been very active in relation to this. He's been in ongoing contact uh, with the trustees of Console and is seeking formal written undertakings from the trustee uh, to assure the authority via the provision of a report that the property and finances of the charity is secure and subject to robust corporate governance assure the authority that any allegations of financial impropriety will be investigated and a full report on that issued to the authority and consent to the authority applying, if required, its powers to assign uh, new trustees to the charity to assist uh, the current board in their work. So it's very clear that the charity regula regulator is uh, playing a very active role. He's also uh, sought reports from Angarda Shikona, just working with them and with uh, asked uh, RTE for any assistance that they can be. So there's a very robust response, as is appropriate, uh, to the allegations that have arisen uh, in recent weeks. Because, as I said, and I'll repeat again, it's essential that confidence is maintained in the NGO, in the charity sector, and the charity's regulatory authority is in a position to carry out its functions uh, in relation to that. And indeed, the Gardaí uh, may have a separate role you, if uh, there are allegations. Uh, one minute, Deputy Fleming. Thank you. And Honest, I all, we all agree at the need for Consol to continue its good work and that its reputation and good name um, should not be damaged. But it seems to me that the charity, as you've said, is responding. The charity's regulator should have had a proactive role, shouldn't be waiting for the damage to be done before he comes in to do something. He, the charity's regulator has powers long before now and he should have been in there long before now dealing with these issues and before they came to the surface and they should have been dealt with. And this scandal has the potential to damage the reputation and good work and every effort must be taken to ensure that does not happen. It is crucial that these concerns and all these investigations that you mentioned are concluded speedily so Console and the people working for Console and who contribute to Console can get on with their good work. Um, we've all seen that there are reports of up to six different sets of company accounts, which is extraordinary. I believe this matter is, in addition to the Gardaí Shiaqana, will have to be referred to the Director of Corporate Enforcement. That will also have to be examined. Thank you, Deputy. And I would ask the Tawnish to, to can she give an assurance that this will be brought to a speedy conclusion and confirm that there are no other charities being investigated by the charities Thank regulator and we're not going to see further programmes like this. One minute to conclude. Uh, I should point out that the charities regulator has uh, no role in investigating fraud nor any competence uh, to carry out uh, that type of investigation. But obviously in relation to the behaviour of uh, charities, uh, once a complaint is made to the charities regulator, uh, they clearly will carry out an investigation and where appropriate involve other bodies, whether that's the Gardaí or corporate enforcement. Uh, but we do now have a charities regulatory authority in place. Uh, that is to reassure the public. If they have concerns in relation to charities, uh, they can report them to the regulator. And I I have no doubt that given the seriousness of this issue and the huge public, uh, issue, uh, public interest and confidence issues at stake, uh, that they will carry out their part of this investigation in a speedy manner.